Hey, welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. <laughs> Greetings, humanoids. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Goon Pirate, Pirate, Pirate. Welcome back to the Goon Pirate. Yo, Pierre. Hey, man. Oh, me old puss head, boy. It's good to be back. Yeah, I'm back. Good. good to be back. Ooh, baby. I'm a goon. Oh, goon. Do we drop oh, the nutsack on him? Grandpa's ashes, September 25th. <gasps> yes. Grandpa's ashes in the... Oh, Grandpa's ashes, September 25th. Way, yeah, everyone's been way, asking. Guess what? whoop de goddamn do, people. And drink his body. <laughs> Your grandpa's <laughs> dead. Drink his body. Go. I mean, you're essentially just going to give yourself cancer, so it just doesn't matter. At it the end turns of the day. your shit green, just like me. Confirm. It turns your blood purple. I you can tell how much soup. I've been drinking. You can tell how much Grandpa's Ashes I've been drinking because I'm a green bean motherfucker. Whoa. Grandpa's Ashes gave me jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> Why you dissing on John so much, boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, me to a yeah, little yellow-tinted baby. Because that's what yeah. happens to him. A little tinted baby. I got I'm not going to make a bad joke tinted, on that. Uh, little, we're just going to move on. Baby right here. Little yellow tinted baby. This oh, my God. Normal, the eyes. This is a normal baby who had one sip of Grandpa's ashes. Do you ever, like, titty fuck his eyes? Oh, yeah, you should. Wait a minute. That's wait a minute. not a lot of space. I can, like, barely get my finger in this. I'll have, take that doll. Have minions always had two different colored eyeballs? Or is that the Mandela effect? He's not really <laughs> packing any heat. Actually, you know what's funny? I'm making a thumbnail right now. He's got the same colored eyeballs. Wait. Holy shit. You got to switch them. Yeah, I can't tell. Consistent. It's really hard to tell. It's not consistent. Is that canon? Do they have two different color eyes? Because I feel like... Uh, this I one does. Yeah, I never noticed that. It's weird. Wow. You got a little... You got a little butt crack? A little butt crack down? It's stitched Are we up about to pants. witness you fuck a minion plushie? <laughs> God, I, I wish. Hope so. There's no There's no bussy <laughs> under here. Oh, Me to the no sweet way, homeless guy. A little, crack back here. <laughs> a little butt crack back here? A little butt crack? A little ass crack back here? Slide your hand down his pants. <laughs> Me giving free health care yeah, to homeless people everywhere. <laughs> uh, that's breezy when you really think about it. Yeah, that is breezy. Yeah. Ow. That's why I said it. Beard. Use code GOONS on G-SUPS, people. Go mm -hmm. goon, goon, bad. Yeah, what does that get you? Goon. Should they, they use that? I don't want to do you, I, I feel like we've said it's 500% off. It gets you they green turds. I feel like we've said it so many times. I don't actually remember what using code goons does other than give us money. I let's just bullshit um, it. it, it, just, it, 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 it use code, use code goons off. to give us money. Use code off goons to give us money. Fuck the 10% off money. Use code goons to give us money. We need money. Yeah. If I we have so many children to feed. They're on the couch behind me. They are hungry. They are starving. Use code goons or they will all die. Also... The CEO of GamerSub said if we don't sell a million units, that he's going to blow our heads off. He true. did say that. Yeah. With a golden yeah, deagle. Episode. He actually mm -hmm. showed us when we were in Austin the weapon he's going to use to kill us. Yeah, he even <laughs> let us fire it yeah. to, see, to know how powerful it is when our brain <laughs> becomes execution. red mist on the wall. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Cool guy. Did you guys get cool. to shoot that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we shot it, it a bunch. Was it pretty powerful? Uh, yeah, no, did you not hear me talk about living the Arab dream that I was, I was shooting oh, a yeah. full auto AK and a gold deagle? <clears throat> well, no, it was like I don't, my, my COD 4 loadout. Yeah, I thought, I, I think thought you Larkers can have deagles, you can have like two different deagles, can't you? Aren't there like two yeah, different Yeah, I'm sure there's sizes? one that's not 50 AE, I'm sure there's one that's like 45 I'm sure you're allowed to own yeah. two different deagles, if you really want to. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you look like you're tweaking right now? You're like... Yeah, you're like, <laughs> I'm doing yeah, something. You're walking down this the is, fucking. You look like you're about sideways. to hold. Yeah, you're about to hold a cup out and ask me for change. This guy hasn't had Grandpa's ashes in five minutes. Don't be like him. <laughs> That's what Don't happens. Don't be like him. See that? That's an addict right there. <sighs> Dude, did I ever tell you guys about the homeless guy I saw in Toronto that was itching himself so much his skin was gone? Oh, he was no, bald? but I believe you. 
That's like a yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't like bone, but it was like tendons and like tissue and shit. And there was blood like everywhere. And bro was still just itching. What the fuck? Maybe, he was probably yeah. on uh, yeah. bugs under his skin. Probably. Right. More effective way to get the bug. You could probably like use fire or something. What is that drug that starts with a P? It's like very intense. Penis. No, um, not penis. Um. Pancreatic cancer. Penis. Pad. Padvil. Padville? Oh yeah, Padville. When it makes you scratch <laughs> your skin off someday. Tylenol. Tylenol. <laughs> Pi yeah. Ibuprofen makes my bones itchy. <laughs> Pressed toothpaste. What am I thinking of? I have no fucking clue. It's like worse than meth. It's like very pneumonia. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know my fucking. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know my, drugs my, either, my I don't know my drug name. lore. I don't I'm not a not up to date on not a big not a big drug enthusiast. Pancakes. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Denny's oh, pancakes specifically. Uh, yeah, he was oh, probably really yeah. craving a yeah. Denny's pancake. Yeah, yeah, the uh that same corner always always has like a little homeless guy on it, so there's always something new. Um the Is weirdest one I no, he's actually a pretty big guy, but oh. he uh it's it's usually the same guy. There's like two or three that like cycle out, like they work in shifts or something, I don't know. Um, with Which the one guy. Oh, go ahead. So he right. had a full. But I forgot to tell you guys about this one. I actually have, and he had a full giant button-down dress shirt. And I saw him from behind, and I was like, "Oh, he's got clothes on. That's that's a nice change up today." <laughs> Usually they're like, I don't know, naked chasing cars or something. But he had a big button-down shirt, and he turned around, and I look at the top, and all the buttons were done up. And they go all the way down. And then it was dick and balls, and then more buttons. He literally opened up, like, you know, in between <laughs> buttons, there was, like, a bit of a slot. He yeah. folded his cock and balls through that hole in the button shirt, and then buttoned it up on the bottom. So his his dick and balls were just being squeezed through his t-shirt. Business in the front, was, party in the back, dude. <laughs> it was, it was, it, no, it was, like, business in the back, party in the front. Because in the back, you couldn't see his ass. It was too long. Oh, and then he turns wow. around, and his cock and balls are out. It was incredible. He needs to make a, a, a an ass slit in the back of the shirt. Yeah. You should do that for him you should go back and get some scissors yeah i'll or get a yeah a knife pointed at him i'm sure he'll he won't be so it's always this, kill me. the same corner but it's a different like crackhead homeless yeah, person they, yeah they like swap up you should get like uh you should I, I feel like that's a random spawn for you and they're gonna offer you like mm -hmm. a new side quest every time you go back so you gotta oh, i i it's, a, it's actually a starbucks that's there um okay. and we go quite often nice so uh yeah i haven't been handed any side quests yet just uh just them yelling at cars. Uh, he threw a hydro flask across the street. I don't know why he was so mad at it. I feel like that's something I would have collected as a homeless person. That's a very valuable item. But yeah, he chucked it. Yeah, I don't know. He'd just be Probably doing whatever. Probably his social security number to him, so he threw it. I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, you know, water bottles speaking. <clears throat> which, out of, uh, of which out of all four of us do you think would survive the best uh, being homeless? Uh, I feel like which goon? soup. I feel like soup probably soup. yeah like i feel yeah. like if i took everything away from soup like every physical item he would just revert to monkey and he'd be okay like that i feel like he true. would i feel like all of us would be worried about surviving whereas he would be thriving you know it's like different. i uh i have been practicing running on all fours so i could fit in with the homeless <laughs> pretty well i feel like see <laughs> catching with your mouth uh, that would be good to learn i mean to i do. caught a frog last week so you did that yeah you literally true, showed yeah. He was just trying to get a gauge on how cool we, we would find his new hunting abilities. <laughs> I can forage. I can forage a, a mean berry if I'm hungry. So. Should yeah. Do a podcast from the woods. I've thought about it, but uh, it would be. Kinda, I don't know if we'd have the best internet in the woods. Have a lot of, yeah. Long, long extension cords. I might can do it. I might do it next. Why does week. it look like I lubed this up like a? Yeah, it looks very a wet. Shower ad, asshole. like a sh a shampoo ad. Yeah, it looks like he sat on it before you started drinking out of it. Yep. Got blar juice. Mm hmm. Loose. What Trying is to that? die from this concoction. It's Grandpa's ashes with citrulline, creatine, and uh, and. I didn't uh, mean what you were oh, drinking. I meant really I mean, what's on the outside there we go. of the bottle. Not Water. <clears throat> oh, okay. I didn't know. If it I was think some it's just like condensation. Juice. No, it's just con condensation. Okay, condensation. Learning yep. new words. <clears throat> yep, it's a little death cocktail for me. Bunch of ice in there, so that's probably why. My ice machine doesn't work. Ice maker, whatever. <laughs> we've really run out of that, we've really run out of things man. to talk about, huh? You have a Samsung fridge? I've got a light bulb burned out in my basement. Dude, same, dude. There's a light bulb burnt out right over there. 
I also got I, a fire smoke detector that's been beeping at me for like two months. I should Yummy's sock like was under that couch. Yeah. I got a new guitar. Can you show, show us? us? But did you hear about Yummy's sock? Tell me about Yummy's sock while I noodle. It was under the couch. And I was going to leave it there. But I told Danielle and I think she's washing it. Uh, that's one more to add to your collection. Uh, you should make a YouTuber sock. sock. You, should, you should make like a YouTuber sock collection. All I have is yummies. Grizzly well, you gotta start slept somewhere. over there in a room over there. Puffer slept upstairs. I scoured and I couldn't find anything they left behind. Everybody needs to ship one sock to Plark. Yeah. I can do that. I got it. Yeah, cool I can do that. I actually don't believe Do <laughs> own socks. I've never seen him wear a sock. Are you wearing socks right now, dude? No, he's not wearing socks right now. There's no way. Locking your guess? There's no way he's wearing socks right now. Zero percent. Yeah! I know it! I don't know it! I don't even think do own sock. Nah. I'm not flexible enough to get my foot up to the socks camera. Socks are overrated as hell, dude. Uh, dude, I like wearing socks 24-7. Yeah, me too. Like, I can't not, not wear socks. I hate not wearing weird. socks. I hate it. Nah, bro, you I sleep with socks on. And get the Same. It's nice. And toes. What was the one thing we could all agree on? Was it mustard? Mustard. Yeah. Mustard. Yeah. mustard. So we can't agree on socks. Write it down, people. No. Put that on your We're fifty. We're 50-50 on... On socks. but 100% on mustard. We're all in on mustard. What about socks full of mustard? Mm. That's pretty good. What's the point of that, though? What do you benefit out of socks? Right. What's, the point, sock? what's the point of fucking anything, McNasty? I guess what a stupid true. fucking if you're question. Dwindle it down Why are we even alive? Of breathing. Why are we even alive? What a stupid fucking question in your direct TV hat asking about mustard socks. You're promoting cable. All right, what dude. are you directing? You've never directed um, anything. I'm directing my penis right now. <laughs> Soup, you're slightly see through today. Did you know that? Yeah. He's That's an, good. He's an apparition. When I woke up this morning, I decided I want to be on a ninety-five percent opacity. <laughs> <laughs> like a weird. We all <laughs> make that decision when we wake up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Every morning, we're left with a choice. They're going brazy in that UFO up there. Yeah, dude, I was going yeah, with the alien theme. New Mexico. I was going with the alien theme because of the alien reveal. Didn't Didn't tell. Due to the oh, yep. new aliens dropped, nice. boys. New aliens. Nope. New alien lore. Very real. You guys already got me dropped. riled up about this before the podcast started. So I want to get you riled want to talk up again. About talk about aliens. It's stupid. Talk What's about stupid about stupid? it, Mark? They're the same little fucking cretins from 2017 that that same guy pulled out. Croutons? And he said, and he said, look, I found Croutons. aliens. You know what those are? They're children corpses. It's, <laughs> he rubbed dust all over them to make them look authentic. It, right. It's kind of fucked up. His business... Has the word Congress in it, so every time he presents, he can put Congress in the fucking title of the ads and share the uh, ads. God, I do too much YouTube of the like reports <laughs> yeah, and <I> shit. <laughs> like it's just, it's literally just like the oldest scam. There he is. Look at him, bro. You're telling me it's that's e. a guy? It's ET. You're, bro. Te you're telling me that thing is advanced enough to come from space and land here. Look at him, bro. Is high as shit. He can't even open I think his eyes. He's blitzed. I think it would be very fitting <laughs> yes. that. Uh, I think it would be very fitting that the Mexicans reveal to us what aliens look like for the first time. Why is that, buddy? I don't know. I just think it would be kind of <laughs> cool. They would know better than anyone. I didn't say that. Oh, yeah? I just said I thought. Be, <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said I thought it'd be very fitting. You just what they just big fan of of uh, aliens. They down know there, a lot what? about extraterrestrial shit. That motherfucker mm -hmm. looks like ET. It looks like he was given a kiss right before he died. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's getting sloppy. <laughs> no, I think yeah. somebody was like about to. Maybe it was like a baby, and somebody was about to like spoon feed him soup, and he kind of had like a. And then. Oh yeah. How do you think? Gone. How do you think that that is a baby corpse though? It's, it's so. Eh. Hold on, let me. I'll I want to hear the... your theory on this because. Oh, it's yeah, not my theory. It was, it was. It was an article thing. It's like a mangled baby corpse or something. It looks hold like on, somebody look just it crafted it out of like dirt and glue. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like I could make that if it would, like, shit in my yard if I really wanted yeah. to. Get yeah, a couple me, pine uh, cones. Let me, let, me, let me find it. Let me find the thing again. Goofy, ah, long head alien. It does look a lot like E.T., though. If that's yeah. what aliens yeah. really look like, I mean, I feel like I would be happy with that. Because I feel like anything else would just be unfitting at this point, you know? Okay, well, instead of finding the article right away, I found alien suits on... Um, on Amazon. So I will be looking at those for. for <laughs> <laughs> look at the. Bro, look at this one. Moment. Like, hold on, I'm gonna pull this one. Cancer. Look how fun this one is. 
Look at that. That's, that's more audio panels. So I'll look at those. Yeah. Now. Oh, <laughs> is that audio panels? Audio. <laughs> you said the wrong thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, maybe I will purchase some of these. I'm just trying to show for Audi mute. Hold on. God, why is that such a long link? Is this it? Link when he gets knee surgery. <laughs> look at that one. Oh yeah. That's, oh that's hell dope. yeah, dude. Dude, look at the look at the fucking moose knuckle that guy's carrying. His nuts are parted like <laughs> yeah. the Red Sea. <laughs> I like the chrome. The chrome's a nice touch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the pictures are so bad. Blark, why do you not think that's an is. alien, dude? I I personally didn't really have an opinion on it. Just you, you said know. you were heated. Yeah, I was because it's just the amount of people that are, opinion. that are the amount of people that are reposting the same nonsense without reading anything about it is kind of wild. Yeah, that's the internet for you. I saw yeah, there's research that, on anything. Bad. I saw the headline Mexican <laughs> alien and I believed it 100. <laughs> <laughs> percent I'm joking, everybody listening. It is a complete joke. That is a joke. Uh, uh, yeah, no, nah, but what if that was a real alien? What if, my it, fancy. what if we well, hit it with like a ray cool. gun I and mean, it reincarnated? I, uh, yeah, sure. I didn't think about ray guns. Yeah, I don't know. I, I still don't don't fully believe in the, the concept of of aliens being anywhere near us or remotely interested in interacting with us. But, you know, hey, if it happens, that'd be cool. I just don't see why they they interact with humans specifically or Earth. Like Only if they're advanced, us if they're if they're advanced enough to like, yeah, but to them, like it, you gotta understand the the odds of a species being out there that's advanced enough to do this in the short span of the you know universe that we've had like it, habitable planets and stuff like that. It, it, the odds of them being advanced enough to like go places, especially so far away, would be so low. But even if they did, we would just be fucking like ants. What if they're like, living we're among us? What if they're we're just this primitive the little monkey? Why would well, they care when there's study ants. when, the, uh, when the, if there's a billion, yeah, five little fucking weirdos somewhere study ants? They're they're not gonna come out of their way. They're gonna look at us and go, oh, yeah, look, more ants. What if they there's just want to come? Boo. Three well, million those, other maybe species there's five are little interested in. weirdo aliens that are interested in us. Okay, that's I'm sure I'm sure there is, but like there's be so many other planets and like dude we have like what five thousand exoplanets just that we can see with like the james webb telescope maybe like, aliens are also looking at those planets blarg you're How do you, think you are, are revoking your invitation to the spacecraft cookout right now all right <laughs> <I don't even. laughs> it's just yeah. stupid no it's literally for you. like it's it's literally like one of the biggest cases of like confirmation bias humans have is aliens. Look at a map of where aliens are spotted. It is literally all around areas where it's socially like interesting to talk and think about aliens. You, you, nobody in well, yeah, fucking no West Canyon Africa is looking up and going, oh, no way. Yeah, where are they going to post it? They don't have phones or anything. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> are you actually genuinely <laughs> fucking dumb? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but that's the thing is like first of all you Kenyan think you think the, see an alien you where is think he gonna they tell don't have about? cell phones in kenya On what Africa the book? fuck do you think is happening over there <laughs> what do you think is happening in those countries Lord went from no opinion to nations. heavily opinionated Russell, one primitive technology video and he's like this is all of kenya Just these, are, these are uh, these are developed okay, nations Somalia. okay what? they have fucking cell phones in somalia Sahara desert Nobody lives there. Just small <laughs> that, And then you know what? That's what Nobody they Blark, that's what they want you to think. The aliens are probably exactly. in the desert. That's probably why they look like that. They're all dusty and deserty. You mean the giant empty <laughs> desert that's satellite no, quite often? Entire, entirely camouflaged metropolis in the Sahara Desert. Yeah. You just can't see it. How do we how do we exactly. de-alien the Sahara Desert? That's what I want to know. I don't know. My floors are wormed. It. I have I have wormed floors right now. R slash HVAC, tell us how we de-alien a desert. No. <laughs> don't bother don't bother HVAC anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get mad at us. What about the okay? So you don't believe that one's real? What about the second one that they had? Do you believe that one's real? It's the same guy. <laughs> it's the same little ET looking ass. He means wins. it this time. He means it this time. <laughs> it's the same he's, little homie waiting for a bowl of soup. He's he's blowing it off. It's too hot. So you he think that that's a child? It's from the article. Oh, let me find. Now I actually <laughs> need to find it because I've talked about it. Um, from the I love two articles I read alien about advocate. it. It was yeah. It was it was not not looking <laughs> good. <laughs> we side with the aliens. You are no on, longer somebody, welcome to the cookout. Somebody pooped in a pool on Twitter. Sorry. Okay. 
Uh, that's right, a pretty. Sorry, that's uh, a sign. That's an extraterrestrial sign. Yeah. Oh. Poop in a pool. It was a space poop. All right, now I actually need to find it. There we go. All right. Do you think aliens poop if they're real? Uh, if they, I if think they, everything has to. If, if they, they have eat, any sort of poop. energy. Well, maybe they're so advanced their poop just like gets sucked back into their blood and used for nutrients. And there's just like a, and mm -hmm. they have to eat one time when they're. When they're a baby. I don't want to live in a poopless society. I'm not no, gonna lie. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's I wouldn't true. Be that alien. I do love pooping. Pooping is nice. It's an okay, so nice moment of reflection. Sorry, so Mr. Masson, who is the guy that did this, um, this is a different alien. Sounds credible. Sorry, this is a so different there's alien. Multiple real aliens is what you're concerned. So the last one was a child, Mr. and he Miyagi. had to make he had to make an apology in court. Because he tried to tell people that he found an alien, but he just dug up a kid's bones. <laughs> uh, that My was in 2015. God. Sorry, not 2017. Slightly illegal. Um, but this is the same guy, the exact same person doing this again, because people probably forgot about the child bones. Um, so yeah, same guy. As you do. With no other proof whatsoever, other than a doctor he brought along. Um, that, For that a long last name. <laughs> Doctor, he brought along. <laughs> why do I even say words around you guys? I, do, I just don't know why I even say anything. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm saying. Long story short, it's not a fucking alien. Stop believing dumb shit. What they I'm said that there were eggs in the other one though. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. He dude. probably filled Chicken it with eggs. marbles. <laughs> Put if a bunch of marbles egg, in and went. Oh look, there's eggs. Put a couple of fried it. eggs inside of it. He That's thinks that thing lays eggs. eggs. People believe that little thing lays eggs right there. He was one <laughs> waffle away from an all-star meal. What? <laughs> Denny's Grand Slam right there in the coffin. <laughs> I want to know what they fucking taste like, dude. True. I probably oh, you know there'd be there'd be like a delicate like alien meat restaurant if they oh. lived among us for sure. Some back alien alley. brisket. Yeah, sir. I don't know if it would be. Do you think alien meat, meat would be good though? Because they don't look like they have like a lot no. of fat on them. For some reason, I feel like it would it just taste like rubber. It'd be very. I feel like rubbery. it would depend on so many, so many things. Like what, what's, what's gravity like where they come from? Just the marbling if, on if, them. If gravity is really strong there, every, doing everything is going to be like a big workout. They'd probably have huge mm -hmm. muscles. Maybe they're not even made out of meat. Maybe they're made out of like metals. Uh, that yeah, don't don't think that would work at all. You know, well, I didn't ask you. So. Carbon and all that being necessity. <laughs> this is. I mean, I guess you could have carbon-based <laughs> matter. Greatest but... alien debate ever. The, right this now. is a hundred and fifty IQ conversation. This is a one thousand yeah. percent real alien debate happening right now. <laughs> what if they're made out of metal? Metal? They're not. Didn't ask. <laughs> what if they got microwave? <laughs> <laughs> what would you yeah. have in your ideal spacecraft? Um. If you had a, a fucking UFO that could travel the planet, you gotta have a geez. microwave. I have have one of those geez. like, one of those crazy vibrating like butt pussy things. Oh okay. yeah. But you wouldn't need that because like you could have an alien ones. with like an octo pussy and just come suck you. Yeah. You could have a three way with it. Okay. With the weird alien and then the vibrating butt pussy. I like that. Uh -huh. That's about it. I'd probably just have that. I feel like I'd have a lot of baked beans in my UFO because they, you know, Fast they last storage. a long time. They do, yeah. 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 Fuck We're being homeless. Full discography of uh, Joe Rogan's podcast on VHS. <laughs> Why on would you VHS. need VHS and a UFO? You could just Seinfeld fucking say, reruns. I don't know. I want to watch you, Joe Rogan podcast. You could probably just well, I'm bring not Joe Rogan. Though. Wait for him to have like a DMT oh, yeah, trip true. and just show him the, the the craft. He'll come right on. No yeah, questions asked. Way to get him to yeah. go to space. You just got to feed him testosterone and a bunch of trend. <clears> he'll be fine. If you had to survive in space, what would you take? Big beans. Yeah, we, we got that. We got that already. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like other non-perishable items like cured meats. I don't know. What would be the first planet you'd stop on? You could stop on any probably, planet. Probably an exoplanet that I could live on. I don't, I don't think I'd like make a pit stop on a barren rock like Mars or some shit. Stop It'd by like cool a QT like <laughs> on Mars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's over cuties the on Mars. Asteroids, Mickey Doodles. Actually, you know what? Mickey is it so like so? Does anybody know about this, or am I doing this like privately? Like the government doesn't know, nobody knows, or like is it like well known that like oh there goes Matt, he's going to space. Um, no, nah, because no, if nobody no, no knows, one knows, no, no government, uh, no government interaction. You're just going. Yeah, you're, like, you're like deep I'm sea fishing out in the middle of the ocean. You get picked up, and then 
They just give you the spaceship and then you're gone. I'm stopping on Mars. I'm putting a piece of paper over the Curiosity rover's camera for a minute, taking a shit in front of it, and then moving the paper and just letting scientists work out what the hell just happened. That would fuck people up, dude. That would be crazy. <laughs> just there like, is life on Mars. Just a, just a fresh log with no they explanation. They can't find water, but they just find a full turd just sitting on the floor. <laughs> with your DNA. Fresh one. Wet like, turd. With yeah, your DNA all water over. water on Mars. How would you? Okay, so they find your dookie on Mars and they DNA <laughs> test like, it. They would. How would they DNA taste test it? They, they would taste test it. They would taste job. test it. I'll take that job. <laughs> this tastes like Mars. We need a Mars Lord. poop Not taste Mars. tester. Your one turd like fertilizes the whole planet, becomes a metropolis, perfect <clears throat> oh, yeah. for human life. That would be an oopsie whoopsie moment. So they find out it's your Elon turd. Boner. They find out it's your turd and they come to interview you. What are you gonna say? It doesn't matter. I have a spacecraft. I don't, I don't have to go back for the interview. What, you okay. can tell me to go back to Earth? No. They intercept your spacecraft with uh, okay. Dr. Fauci's uh, ex okay. uh, ray gun. Project Blue Beam. Okay. Yeah, that one. They you come in. Talk they about come, that. I don't know what that is. That's dangerous. They use a water powered engine and <laughs> catch your UFO. Okay. And they, they, they strap you down. Water powered. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm following. Yeah, yeah. All right, I mean, I mean, strapped down by Dr. Fauci. Okay, carry on. And Elon Musk and Joe Rogan. Ooh, ooh, don't and love that. And Oprah. That is, and Oprah. That is, and the that Rock. is four horrible people. And okay, the I kind of like the Dave Rock. Grohl. And uh, uh, okay, I'm all right. Dave Grohl and Jordan Peterson. And they, okay, they really, 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 really weird room. But yeah, okay, I'm about it. And they're and all, John. they're all pointing uh, desert eagles at your head with lasers on them, and they're asking okay. you a question. They're like, how did you mm -hmm. get your shit on Mars? Is that your shit? Answer the I'll fucking say question. I'll th say I threw it really hard into the air. Okay. It must have it must have left Earth. And so you're there. taking the stance of denying that you put your own shit on Mars. Yeah, that's not my dookie. You can't prove it. Okay. There's, the camera footage is gone. I covered it. I like your that. Your DNA's in it. They've made a 100% match, though. I was probed, and they took it from me. Who is they? I don't know. I was probed. I was asleep. Okay. Who's See? them? They them. Mm. Some they them bussy took yeah. my took my shit. I think if you shit on Mars, that they would track you down and kill you. Yeah, hundred percent. I think that'd be but a I very have a space swift. Crash, so I'm I'm gone. Don't well, even worry been about pulled it. Pulled over by the water powered Elon thing. <laughs> so with, with Oprah I don't know and Doctor Fauci, <laughs> Jordan Peterson, and Jordan Peterson. <laughs> oh, that is a that is a nightmare blunt rotation. <laughs> Just like the worst people you could put together. I don't think it'd be that bad All in there. a spacecraft. And they're interviewing you. You're passing the booth around and they're talking about Oprah your Oprah would be trying dookie. to sell you to Epstein. So okay. that, wouldn't, that uh, wouldn't go well. Oprah? Is that canon? Missing some lore? Yeah. Big Epstein fan. Huh. Yeah. Take that out of context. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, Jesus <clears throat> Christ. Yeah. How do you guys feel about uh, like Benadryl and Sudafed just being added is completely useless. Huh? Really? I didn't hear about that. You guys not hear about that? Yeah. No. So like a lot of over the counter pharmacist. A lot of over the counter like pharma guy. A lot of over the counter like cold medicines and allergy medicines were added as like their active ingredient, just not working. What's the it's active ingredient? A, I don't know. Ask if Tulsa little sulfate. Well, you're the one that's so fucking knowledgeable, buddy. Yeah, I figured you would have man. some sustenance. Dude, I didn't look at the name of the fucking question. ingredient. Yeah, it took one, one question. question for this to just collapse. <laughs> this has been marked as medical misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. I don't know. It's been all over the news and shit, though. They're just like, that yeah, means it's just it's true. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's just, real shit. Right that's, there. Yeah, that's 100% truth. Oh, like, you know what? Fuck what I say. Fuck what I say. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Benadryl used to put me in a coma. We just had an 80 minute fucking yeah. conversation about aliens being real, but I can't even talk about fucking Sudafed. I don't well, that's because that's something no, that's no. real. That's, the, that's something that is that's like an actual real. thing that know, human beings deal with. I'm not trying to disprove the realness of it. You just said the active ingredient doesn't work. Yeah, but that's what that's what I heard on the fucking news and on the internet. Okay, you just no. I bet Hassan said it in his stream. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You know Hassan's a reliable source. <laughs> uh, Hassan, oh God. famous entertainer and also news source now, <laughs> and world-renowned pharmacist. Um. <laughs> Tester of Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, I've had 200 bottles of Benadryl today. 
All right, nothing's working. And yeah. I'm still sneezing. There's no active ingredient in this. It's just not doing it for me. So, all right, McNasty, I'm, I'm, because you're too fucking lazy to Google it. I'll, right. I'll, I'll look at it for you. I'd say Flonase works pretty well. I use that shit. I use Claritin. I've used Zyrtec. I think it yeah, works pretty a, well. Zyrtec, there's like a list of, it's like like Tylenol, ex, extra strength cold medicine, and a lot of cold medicines. Tylenol is not like, an allergy medicine though, is it? I thought that was like a pain relief. No, I didn't say it. Did I say allergy? Yeah. Oh, I meant like. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I guess Benadryl is <laughs> an allergy. But Benadryl Boy, was like the main one the... that was outed for it, and then they had like all the other things that use that same active ingredient. Sudafed is used to make methamphetamine sometimes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say the active ingredient in that is probably pretty busting. Well, there's other ingredients in it. <laughs> there is other ingredients in it. <laughs> pretty, pretty busting. <laughs> Your Honor, I did meth because it was busting. Are you just putting up all the topics that they do? Bro <laughs> took the Benadryl and this died. I don't know if I've ever had Benadryl. It just makes you, like, drowsy. I've had Ben and Jerry's, though. That shit's really good. Do you think yeah, ben, ben and Jerry's, Jerry's are fucking? Probably. Ben and Jerry fucked. Why did you bring that up, McNasty? Did you have anything else? I don't know. It was just a topic I just saw recently. Last couple days. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it's just not good at, at, at decongesting. You need Mucinex. Yeah. Well, all I know is that they're taking all of that shit off the shelves. <laughs> That's like, it's time to it stock up, boys. Yeah, I gotta go get 200 <laughs> bottles of Benadryl. Back alley farm. <laughs> Can you I mean, even you buy freak that out? Much? You want to freak out and have a fucking wicked, like, hat man in the oh, corner no. session. <laughs> I, don't think Benadryl, I don't think Benadryl will do that. I, I think that was you need Robitussin. actual codeine. I think you need codeine based things for oh, that. Oh no, Benad if you take enough Benadryl, you will you will see sounds. It's it's crazy. Are you speaking from experience? On what basis are you saying <laughs> yeah. this? I currently Is see this sounds. Benadryl slander. <laughs> I can see the vibrations coming out of all your mouths every time you talk. I swear I read one time that if you cut ping pong balls in half and put them over your eyes and then lay on a bed or just lay down and listen to the static that you'll uh, freak the fuck out. I feel like I heard about that too. What? <laughs> I don't know where I read that. Tell it might have been inside that. of a bathroom stall. I feel like, I feel like I actually remember hearing that. I, I don't I don't know if there's any factual basis to it. I, I very seriously doubt it, but yeah, no, I remember hearing Does that. It have to be ping pong balls? I think it's just more so the the concept of like you open your eyes and still can't see and they're like I don't know, perfectly like convex over your eyeball. Ball. Like a little bit lit up. What about cucumbers? Can you put cucumbers on your eyes? I think that's relaxing. Yeah. I don't think those people are like going in yeah, for a trip. True. I think that's to help <laughs> with your eye baggage. Is that what that's for? Uh, I don't know. So, I've never, yeah, I've never tried it, but that's like the only. I'll have to try. I've always, I've always had big fucking bags down under my eyeballs. Or maybe it's for to... uh, like a little snack. Like if you want to lay there maybe. and relax, and you're like, yeah. I don't feel like getting up and get a snack. You just open your eyes. You're like, oh fuck, boom, little snack right there. <laughs> oh, wait, a snack. Are you going to put up a picture of a cucumber? All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, pull that up for me. Cucumber yeah, facts. I'm your Joe Rogan guy. Yeah, yeah you're Jamie. <laughs> pull up pull up cucumber. You're too slow. Pull, you're pull up cucumber. <laughs> pull a picture of soup in a skirt. PNG. Transparent. Uh, Editor, do it. Make it a JPEG. You got a deal. All right. 95% <laughs> opacity JPEG. Yeah, it can't be. It's got to match him. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh you tell us. You're the one. <laughs> okay. Looks like the Da Vinci dude. Da Vinci? It looks like a knockoff VeggieTales character. Yeah, that looks like nightmare VeggieTales. VeggieTales. It's like the douchebaggiest. Oh, it is ever. Emac the Cucumber. <laughs> Emac? <laughs> the guy who looks like he'd sell you like oregano weed. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus. It looks like he Holy touches people's Christ. asses as they walk by. Yep. Well, I was going to tell you guys about Toronto, but I think I'm going to wait for Yummy to come on. I'm going to have him try to come on next week, and we can talk about that since he was he was with me the whole time, obviously. So, um, Anyone else have anything <clears throat> anything cool, anything interesting to talk yeah, about? Yeah, deals at DirecTV, $29.99 a month. You can get Shut up! <laughs> you mean Goon's Flavor Grandpa's <laughs> Issues. Let's talk about our flavor, dude. Grandpa's asshole. Yep. Drink your grandpa. You could talk about how yummy it is. I it threw is up a good. whole thing of it earlier, and now I'm drinking more. That's how good, That's it, how is. good it is. It'll make you want to drink shit's... your puke. 
This shit's so good, you're going to want to piss it back into your mouth through a handstand. Yep. Drink it twice. <laughs> it's so good. I wish you made Olympics your piss now because green, of Jacob's ashes. You know, yeah, the special what? ones or the regular ones? Both. Okay, I'm really good at one thing. of them and terrible at the other one. Which one's which? <laughs> I spaced out. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Yeah, same. I get it, aliens. Ah. Yeah. Uh, uh, nobody actually has anything remotely interesting. Any, nothing going on <laughs> the last week? Nobody did anything? I've been bullying. I pooped. I need to poop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Big, That's, uh, big bull. We can work with that. I tried that a new was your game. Poop. Oh, okay. Yeah, how was the new <laughs> gang? You say he joined a gang? A new gang. He left his old one. Oh. Dude, you just, Are you gonna you're just gonna up? bring you're just gonna bring up your shit and not tell us about it? Oh, I thought we were talking about his game. Oh, I'm No, we're talking it. about your shit. Oh! Oh yeah, no, I could talk about my shit for a while if you want. Let's uh, do it. Yeah, go ahead. Last night I pooped uh three times. I don't know why. I usually <laughs> nice. don't poop three times in a day, but I I like <laughs> shotgun blasted poop for like an hour, like three different times, I had to go shit. It was probably because you had that cold. Did you accidentally <laughs> salmonella your chicken or chicken, something? Chicken sandwich. <laughs> yeah, one grain of salt got on my chicken. I just <laughs> shit my brains out. I was gonna say uh, it was probably because of that old or cold chicken sandwich you had that was sitting on your doorstep. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, true. Oh, that actually probably was exactly what happened. <clears throat> yeah. I probably got salmonella thing was, poisoning yesterday. Yeah, that thing was just. Not it. You probably would have been better off just biting a chicken tit raw. Just like a random local chicken just biting on his boob. Oh, shit. I actually probably lightly poisoned myself. You're probably like, yeah, the chicken entered the danger zone. Yeah. How long was it I sitting mean, on your it, porch? Wasn't it only on your doorstep for like an hour? It was on the, I think, the chicken. Stopped, anything like an more than like 10 half. minutes is too much. No. Bro, I leave chicken out for literally like hours after I barbecue. Oof. Oh. And I, I've never had issues with it. Yeah, All right, well, eatingwell.com says the general rule of thumb for cooked chicken is that it should not sit out on your kitchen table or buffet for more than two hours. Uh, we read about you it probably that in line. a good window. Yeah, I feel like you were in that window. But then again, you got it delivered. So how long did it? Ooh, it's how, how long that was it true. cooked? Oh, yeah. Sat there waiting for a person to pick it up. Then they drove well, it there. I well, am in the woods, so oh, it takes a while for it to get here. So Oh yeah, you're that chicken fucked. that chicken was in the Oingo Boingo zone. That Probably was, like six and a half hours he was out there. Yeah. Uh anyway, I shit my brains out last night. Did you say you played a new game, Soup? No, I joined a new gang. Oh, how, how's that going? Uh pretty cool. Okay. Next topic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so also I, I did also play a new game. I played Dark and Darker. You guys oh, play oh, that oh, that yeah. game looks cool. Dark and darker. I don't know if I've heard that. It's like BR Dark Souls. You or no Tarkov Dark Souls, more yep. like, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Tarkov yeah. Dark Souls, kind of. Huh. I think you need to lube them puppies up. WD forty, old bastard. I just put a whole can on it before I started. Oh huh. man. Something just fall off. Well, what do you think of Dark and Darker? Did you get your ash? Dude, I got beat? my ass whooped, son, yeah. like big time. Like, any time I thought I was doing something remotely productive or cool, there'd be, like, three wizards that just fucking kick down the door, and they're like, and you're just dead instantly. You took a bunch of Benadryl, didn't you? Yeah. You just laid, you just laid in bed and took Benadryl. I actually didn't try a new game at all. <laughs> I'm gaslighting all of you. That is, uh, yeah, I've it never is... played that game, but it, it looks fun as hell. We should they try it. Do VoIP yet? Yeah. Okay, we I was waiting for them try to add it. that. I'm down. It to looks try like it. something I would not be good at. I am so bad at like Tarkov style games, or, like any games where you have to actually like Same. be serious. Yeah. yeah, and the ones that are super realistic, like you get shot in the leg and you're just like screwed, or, uh, unless Dude, you have like this. You like limp around and shit. Yeah. yeah, I like I played Tarkov with uh, Smitty and Scotty a while ago. It's actually insane. Like I'd wear a helmet. And I wouldn't be able to hear a guy from, like, an extra five feet because of the helmet I was wearing. First, like, the helmet that, like, Scotty was wearing, he could hear somebody. Like, there's oh, so yeah. much shit in those <laughs> games. It's actually yeah. insane. Yeah. I can't I can't deal with those games. They're too much. I just want to, you know, shoot a guy in the head and carry on with life. Run around and be a goofball. Yeah, Dark and Darker yeah. is kind of that same way where it's, like, different 
shit can affect your stats oh. and everything. What the hell was that? <laughs> hit marker. <laughs> so quick little hit marker. Oh, Anybody else play any new games lately? I'm still playing the shit out of Starfield. Starfield yeah. I started Armor Core. Armor Core 6. That sounds like a Armor shitty War? pre-workout. Yeah, it sounds like a mobile. <laughs> yeah, it does. Armor Core has like a P90X workout program or something. <laughs> Try Armored Core. What is that? No, though? it's a uh, it's 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 Mech Dark Souls. It's made by FromSoft. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Dark Souls and stuff, and it's just like this crazy ass mech shooter where it's just like just like rockets and explosions everywhere. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it like basically Doom, but with like mechs in terms of like how much Insane things you just violence. murder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. Is it single player? Yeah. Oh okay. It's just single player game. Well, I guess there's PvP, like you can fight other people, but like the story you play by yourself. Those games mm. are sweet though. We'll have yeah, to I've, just been, the I've just been grinding Starfield like crazy. Are you close to beating it? No, not even fucking close. How many hours I'm do like you have? Fifteen hours, I think, and I'm like it's like fucking two percent in the game. Holy shit. Apparently yeah, all it's... the side shit is where it's at for that game. Dude, the side shit in that game is so distracting, but so fun. Like, literally, I'll land, my objective will be 100 feet in front of me, and I'll just, it'll take me, like, an hour to get there, because I'll just be distracted by so much shit, and I'll do, like, four other quests. <clears throat> I actually joined a police force, now I'm shooting bad guys and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, Yeah, I don't know, all sorts of wild, wild things in that game. It's It's so fucking fun, though. I get why a lot of people don't like it. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Magnassi. I was going to say, that's that's the one thing I love about Bethesda games is sometimes you just accidentally get into shit. Oh, yeah, you just, like, you talk to one person because they just be making noise next to you. And then uh, you're just going on a four-hour quest, completely ignoring uh, any of the stuff <laughs> you originally were doing. And then yeah. after you'll finish it, and you're like, all right, all done. It's like, the fuck was I even doing? That's why you need to talk <laughs> to that homeless guy outside of that Starbucks. You have a little four-hour <laughs> yeah. side quest. <laughs> One of them has to have some sort of side quest, but, um, but yeah, I see why people don't like Starfield. Like, if you look for nothing, you're going to find a lot of nothing. Like, if you go into it and you're, like, looking for shit to dislike, like, it, it's going to be pretty pretty easy to dislike the game. Yeah, that's like, how any Bethesda game is. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, especially one on that scale, right? Like, there's a ton of barren planets. If you just yeah. hop around barren planets all day, you're going to get boring stuff. Once in a while, you'll come across something that's really cool. And you're yeah. like, oh, that's sick, but then... You if know, Skyrim like, came out today, it would have the same reception. Yeah, yeah a lot I mean, of people a lot like of it, it, a lot of people a lot are of the map is about. nothing. Yeah. But, like, I, I, I don't think people understand the concept of, like, for it to be even remotely, like, obviously it's still an RPG game, and, it's, like, they want to have it based in realism, but it's also fantasy. So, But, like, if you have every planet be this, like, thriving metropolis full of, like, things to do and stuff, you, like, not only do you take away how exciting the special planets are, but, like, it just becomes incredibly unrealistic when this giant, like, gas giant is just somehow teeming with life and things to do. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, I get why people don't awesome. like it. Um, if you're looking for constant stimulation, like a Call of Duty game or something, you're, you're probably going to hate it. But if you're just... It's equivalent of, like, reading a book, in my eyes. Like, games like that, any sort of those, like, single-player uh, RPG games, they all, I don't know. The same idea if, of, like, reading a book. I wonder if that's a part of it. It's like everybody's attention spans are so short now that, like, slower-paced yeah. adventure games like that are just received worse now. Than I don't know. Uh, I feel like it depends on the market of it. Like, completely unrelated to, like, gaming. Um, but, like, uh, Sam Solik, he's a YouTuber right now, and he he's, does lifting and stuff like that. He has gained 460,000 subscribers in the last 28 days, and his videos are, like, 40 minutes of nothing with 10 minutes of interesting yep. shit stuff in between them. So I don't know, like the whole I idea of everything needs to be like fast paced and wild is, uh, I don't know. I feel like everyone says that more than it's actually a thing. Yeah. Well, you gotta think about it too, is back then, like when games, when these types of games were bigger, like the internet wasn't really the way it is now. Like when Skyrim came out or Oblivion or like, Fallout or any of those games where it's just kind of like a lot of fluff and a little bit of interesting stuff going on. It's like people just played the game and then played it. They didn't have to go on Twitter and micro fucking pick out every little problem with the game. 
Well, I also yeah. feel like you're talking about watching something versus actually playing it yourself. I feel like if you're watching <clears throat> that too, yeah. something, you know, it's not that big of a deal if you're not constantly. Yeah, I would never sit and watch somebody play RuneScape, but I actually love playing the game myself. Like, like right. it's yeah. two whole like different you're going to watch somebody grind mining for an hour? Like, Yeah, no, shot. fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> Some games are just, you get you get the thrill out of making achievements yourself. Like, getting yeah. your goals. And just doing and stuff. small stuff, like small improvements and small little like discoveries that you find like yeah, new piece I, don't know, I feel like shit. i feel like i feel like starfield is going to be a game that you can play for like a thousand hours and then still just randomly find something new like even skyrim is like that i have god i could probably check right now actually it would be on my other steam account but when uh, i first got a pc i probably played like 800 hours of skyrim Same. and usually That's usually crazy. around usually around christmas every year i'll restart the game and basically play it from the beginning and go through everything and i feel like every single playthrough of that game i still find something new that i'm like i had no idea this was here and it's like so close to other stuff you're around you just why would i walk down this alley or talk to this person kind of thing and i feel like yeah. starfield's gonna be that for like five thousand hours if you wanted to it's just insane how much content that game has like have you ever started playing um an mmorpg like 10 years after it came out where it's just so overwhelming because there's two million mechanics and yeah. so many side quests, expansions, stuff like that. Like that's literally what Starfield feels like on, on day one. So it's it's also extremely overwhelming to play, which I get a lot of people don't really don't really uh, vibe with. That's why I don't like really streaming those kind of games that much <clears throat> because I feel like chat sometimes can ruin it. Because like oh, yeah. even when I, I was playing Dark and Darker. Like so many people were trying to tell me like what to do or like things that I could do to as a beginner to help me yeah. out, and it's like I like yeah. I like having to the challenge your, of trying to your figure that shit experience? out. Experience, yeah. yeah, right, yeah. Like I uh, in Starfield, I killed a I killed their I, they're called spacers. I killed a dude, and he had this little note, and I read the note for some reason. I normally don't. I just decided, hey, what's this secret stash? And I read the note, and it like made me go on this whole like. I had to go to a whole new planet and stuff like this, kill a whole base. And I got like a, a spaceship and a six suit armor out of it. Um, and I like looked at, looked it up afterwards. And apparently it's like the first thing they recommend doing when you're basically set on your own and stuff like that. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like it was so much more fun to like, just find that note while playing and do all this stuff organically rather than just be told to go do Google it. it. I feel like it's, YouTube yeah, it. I feel like it just takes yeah. away the whole, the whole fun of the game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I shot myself in the foot with fucking uh, Dark Souls or not Dark Souls, uh, Elden Ring. Because when I first started playing oh, Elden Ring, yeah. one of the first things I did was I went to YouTube tutorials and like looked up the best build and I just did that. And then I followed it. And then after I was done with it, I was like, I don't really want to play this anymore. Like yeah. I just Didn't copied what somebody else did on YouTube. You only did like 5% of that whole game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, in, in all fairness too, like I've never really been a big fan of the Dark Souls games. I don't particularly That's like games that are designed to, to be it. hard. The yeah, worst I know. way to do it's... it is jump in and look up a tutorial. Yeah, yeah I only well, looked up tutorials I after I <clears throat> had figured out all the base mechanics. And I had, sure. uh, I think I had beat the first two. I beat like the first two bosses and then I started looking up like where better weapons were and shit like that. What dungeons yeah. to do and all that. I mean, I still a game like that is a little different. It's gonna say, I feel like a game like that's a little different because you like actually need to min-max to be able to fucking beat certain bosses unless you're yeah. insanely talented but a yeah. game like starfield that's like an rpg game and maybe you'll kill a guy five percent faster it just feels yeah. so goofy to go out of your way to like basically cheat and like a game yeah. like tarkov where it's so complicated you have to like load <clears> your own <throat> bullets make your own ammo and shit like yeah that, that game go fine. for it <laughs> yeah 100 yeah, percent totally tarkov fine. you know what yeah, i miss is like a time before people data mined every game and knew everything that was in it so there's no longer any oh. secrets about anything when anything yeah. comes out. I miss those yeah, days. There's like no secrets. Because I saw this. Uh, there's this video that shows up on my recommended every like year about you guys know Shadow of the Colossus that old game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There was this like hunt for like this secret lost extra Colossus that everybody was like theorizing back in like the early 2000s. Like there's got to be this extra boss. Like it's got to be out there. Try beating the game three times on hard or whatever. Uh, but then they can data mine and be like, yeah, there's nothing there. Wasting yep. your time. It just like yeah. takes all the magic out of it, you know. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it was it reminds, fun of like. Go ahead, McNasty. It reminds me of uh, the Bigfoot on San Andreas. 
Always... <laughs> yeah, that's literally what I was going to say. Like, you and your friends or like, one of your friends would have this random myth about the game of, like, you could find this. So you guys would just be sitting there trying for hours to make yeah. this thing spawn or find this little secret or whatever. Like, the Mew under the car in uh, Pokemon. Or, like, oh, stuff yeah. like that. Mew 3. Uh, like, you can get Mew yeah. 3 or whatever. Like yeah, all those I feel like stuff like that was so funny secrets. with... Yeah, it was so funny with gaming. It just added such a layer of, like, I need to find this thing, even though it doesn't exist. It's the, the adventure part of it is fun because you find other stuff to do in the game while doing that, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember I was a, a big victim of, <clears throat> of that kind of, like, internet fake shit or whatever back whenever I was playing Super Mario 64 religiously on my Nintendo mm -hmm. 64 because it would always be like, oh, you can unlock and play as, like, Luigi or whatever. L is real. Yeah, yeah. L, L is real <laughs> because L is on, real. in the back courtyard it had the star statue – and you could the the fucking pixels were so bad that you couldn't really read what was on there, and yeah. so everyone was like, "Oh, it says L is real, so you got to like do all this and all this." And so I got like all 120 stars, which I was gonna do that anyway. But I was like, "Oh, you gotta get all 120 stars," and so I did that and I tried like different things, like, "Oh, you gotta backflip into the water," and like all yeah. this kind of <laughs> bullshit. And I would I would just spend hours like going online and reading these bullshit tutorials, and then I didn't know about like. Like how you can download Project 64 and, and literally modify the game and all the characters and everything to whatever you want, pretty much. And so yeah. I would see like gameplay videos of people playing as oh, Luigi. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck are they doing that? Like, what, what tutorial do I need to follow? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, go, you got to beat the game twice and then get all the coins. Every time you kill someone or whatever, you got to collect mm -hmm. every coin in the game. And so I Just did that. Just the amount of misinformation. Yeah. That sounds like wild. Hell. The amount of that wasted, like so much work, man. wasted hours that I would do trying yeah. to trying but to find. But I that. bet you, I bet you loved it when you were doing it. I thought you were like, yeah. this is, or I bet you were like, this is fun as hell. Oh yeah, it was a great time. Yeah, even though it was a complete waste of time, you still get to go through the game and and do all the like different shit you wouldn't have normally like done. Yeah, so. exactly. Go to places in the game you've never bothered going because there's no like gameplay reason to go there stuff right. like that is is, is awesome and, yeah and then eventually it turned out that there were actually luigi assets in the cartridge or some shit yeah and apparently l was actually <clears throat> slightly real i saw that video it was recently crazy yeah <laughs> like it technically was in the game but they scrapped it due to like hardware limitations or something yeah. a luigi is what would have pushed that game over the edge <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then, like a One cartridge scan. had fucking 32 megabytes on it i think it, it probably did it, it probably did <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it was something back, like, uh, to do with both characters being on screen because they wanted to do like a co-op mode or something. Uh, that would have been so cool, man. Yeah, like having him as like an assistant or like a like a sidekick type thing. Well, it would just I be like, like two player. I feel like oh, young oh, okay. young drug abuse would be down like fifty percent if we had co-op. <laughs> like a new SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> <laughs> young drug little, abuse. Little drug abuse. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like it would be significantly less if we had co-op Mario 64 back in the day. Oh, 100%. No, it's all, no it's reason all to go do crack. <laughs> we have, we have co-op Mario time. Don't say that. They might sue us. <laughs> That's true. I can't. They're yeah. scary. <laughs> Joke. Nintendo, I love you and all your most of your games. Your online service is incredible. And <laughs> your, the Nintendo Switch is totally the marvel of engineering and not the biggest piece of shit that's ever come out. It's definitely not like eight generations behind to literally everything else. <laughs> no. I wonder Not as less powerful than an iPhone. So I, I wonder why Nintendo is that way with their hardware. I, I watched a video. They're stupid, bro. Well, I watched They're a obsessed video. Obsessed with the idea of it being like transportable. Yeah, like that is true. Time. But I, I watched only the family plays Nintendo together. That's I watched it. a video about like the phenomenon of the Nintendo Wii and how how it came to fruition because they basically just used the hardware from a GameCube. Because mm -hmm. the GameCube sold so poorly, because like the PlayStation and I think the Xbox might have been out around that time, and they were just yeah so, the original Xbox yeah they were just yeah. so much mm -hmm. more advanced. And Nintendo, I guess, lost money <clears throat> on the GameCube, and so they basically took the hardware of the GameCube and put it into the Wii, and you know changed a couple huh. of things and everything. And that's how they were able to only sell it for like two hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, and so I it was mean, a it cheaper was like... option, but you got a, technically a shittier console, but it was cheaper. Yeah. And it was like the best-selling console of all time. Yeah. So they're like, yeah. I don't understand that's why it. they don't why we they don't do the like a like you know how like uh, Xbox does like the shittier version and then the better version. Yeah, I don't know. 
Nintendo I mean, should it, do that. It's probably for streamlining, right? They could because like the Switch, I I believe, is the most purchased console right now. Um, I'll look that somebody up. can definitely correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but like Nintendo itself is by far the most profitable. I'm pretty sure business um, in yes. the world. So I mean, why not? It's much easier for them to streamline have one product. PlayStation and have 2, everyone yeah. buy it anyway. Like people are gonna buy it all anyway. PlayStation Two is no, yeah. I mean like currently. Sorry, I mean like out of the, yeah, the I meant out of the current Xbox, PlayStation Five. Yeah. So Nintendo Switch, according to Wikipedia, very reliable source. Uh, it is, <laughs> Nintendo Switch is at uh, like 130 million sold. PlayStation Four is at 117 million. Didn't PlayStation they release Five a new one is at 41 with... million. They released like a new one, didn't they? New Switch? Or was it just, no, was it's it just the like same thing. Up? It just has an OLED screen. So like oh, on the, the original Switch, hardware. you could literally see where they... Hold on. I think it's rumored that they're making see a new one soon. where they were going to put the OLED up to like here. You can see like the screen border. They, literally all they did was get rid of the screen border and it's now like OLED Switch. So like oh. it's it's the same hardware. It's just a different different <clears> screen on it. Which doesn't matter if you play not on Ox. the go. Like, like yeah. yeah like uh, I don't I, think I've I, ever played my Switch on the go. I Always did once. Knocked. I do every once in a I while. Like times. once. Yeah. I do every once in a while, but I've never... I, I still use like the OG one. I've never been like, hmm, I need to go spend $300 for a on slightly a better screen. screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got the old Just for it to still be 15 FPS and dog shit, you know. <laughs> do you guys <laughs> think textures. Nintendo is ever going to make like a yeah. beefy console? Nope. I wish I, they would. Can you I, imagine I so. how good like... Zelda like something like Mario, how yeah, Zelda, Mario Odyssey style looks game, sick, yeah. Pokemon. Can you imagine oh, yeah. how fun that would be? Man, Pokemon like, I could get, look so much better. Pokemon, I think is oh, like, dude, God. that's okay. I'm not a person that really cares about graphics much. Like, I'll go play a 64 bit game. Right. I think they're fun. Like, I'm, I, I, you know, it doesn't break my immersion that much. Currently but Pokemon, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet actually look too poor. Like, I cannot play yeah. them. They look too bad. And it it's like, like shit, dude. It's actually like, great. it's um, like immersion breaking. Seeing how bad the animations are, how bad the textures are, like the pop in everything, dude. It's embarrassing that yeah. that is a game that came out like, whatever a year or two ago. Or 2022. It is ridiculous. Yep. Like it literally looks like it's from 1997. It is awful. I could not get past it to even play the game, which really sucks because I genuinely love Pokemon games. But like, I don't understand how, how Sword and Shield looked better than Scarlet and Violet. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I guess and Nintendo's a frustrating brand. It, so they don't yeah, I mean, I bought crazy. it anyway. I bought yep. I bought the I bought, I bought the dual it. game thing. I they bought the one you. that came with both games. And then I didn't play either of them because they were just bad. They got your ass. They got they your did. ass. I did. I got something I got about my Nintendo games out. though. Just make you want to buy them. I don't know what it is. I, 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 they you are can't fun. get them anywhere else. They are fun, and you can't get them anywhere else. But something I don't they're know. They're so there's... unique. They got like that extra spice to them that yeah, not a lot of game uh, makers have. I'm a, I'm also a, a little slut for box art. I love Nintendo box yeah. art. Their art. True. That, I think that's part of the reason. I'll, I'll sometimes I want to buy a game. That I don't know anything about. I don't know. I have no idea what the gameplay is, but I'm just like, that looks so fucking sick. I want to buy it just to look at the the art of it. Yeah, I, I feel know. like maybe I'm weird. I feel like no. Nintendo kind of shoots for that. I feel like that's something they've always done. Really good box art. Really like they always use really bright and like contrasting colors. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, I don't know. I like Nintendo, but it's also like one of the most frustrating brands ever to be a fan of. Very true. Yeah. Yep. Yes, queen. Yes. Real shit. It's about that time, Real fellas. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> about that it's time. Like, damn, nobody, nobody had anything else to say about that. I mean, all right, yeah, it's about that time. We Soup. Keep talking about outro Nintendo. time. Grandpa's no, okay. ashes. They're probably gonna sue us if we say anything else. Grandpa's ashes. Grandpa's ashes. Bye, right here. Grandpa. Use Bye code him. goons. He's good. Oh, my September twenty fifth. Our gamer subs flavor. Is dropping for everyone that's been mm -hmm. waiting and wondering for what fucking two years now. Yep. It is uh, finally. Coming. I remember we first mentioned it that one time in that Warzone clip when we were like naming off what we should name our flavors. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was like 2021. Probably when, when was a that? long time ago. Can we actually look up and figure out what the origin mm, is? Probably quite a quite a long time ago. I mean, that was when we were playing Warzone heavily, and I think that was in 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Probably so. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, buy it. It's been a while. Been a while. 
Go buy Grandma's Ashes. It's real good. It tastes good. It will kill you. If we don't sell enough, G-Subs will kill us. So if you even like the podcast a little bit or our videos, please go buy it. Otherwise, G-Subs will blow our Or if you just hate your life. Also, you I'm, hate life? Buy Grandpa's Ashes. I'm collecting yeah. data. I want, to see, James and I want to see what percentage of you guys get green shits like me. Yeah. yeah. So we'll run a poll. We're, I think, are we 50-50 here? I didn't get green yeah. shit. Yeah, that's another thing we're 50-50 on. It. Me that's and another, yeah. div another me divisive shit thing about the goons. Green shit gang. <laughs> Are you no green shit. Green shit? Me and Blarg shit are not. brown and we wear socks daily, 24 7. <laughs> Me and do shit That's green and we don't wear socks. <laughs> barefoot green shit gang. <laughs> what what are my, you a part it's of? My, it's my Indian name, Barefoot <laughs> Green yeah, Shit. Yeah, which team are you on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. September 25th, let us know. Are you brown or green gang? <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.